Hey, my name is AJ Gallant, and I am the CEO and founder and creator of FXC Wrestling. Um, got our start back in 2004. Uh, just to give you a little background on me, um, I initially started my training at the WCW Power Plant, then moved on and learned some things, one or two from Shawn Michaels. Then I was able to get on the road and do some shows with Mr. Perfect, and also worked a little bit with Eddie Guerrero. So taking a lot of that stuff from all those guys and kind of putting it together was pretty cool. Um, one thing that I used to love was working on some of the higher end indies. They used to have me come out, do seminars, do some showcases, and I would kind of work with the guys on more psychology and more stuff that they needed to know for the ring. And um, just honestly kind of fell in love with it and just realized that Orlando had nothing to offer like that. So that's when FXE was born, it was back in 2004. It was open until 2009. And then I have moved here to Nashville, Tennessee. And right outside of Nashville and Hendersonville, Tennessee is where we currently preside. But uh, we reopened FXE 2.0 at that point in time uh, with my partners, Kalen Goddard, uh, Jerry Lynn, and Tom Latimer. Uh, so we're looking forward to the future, and we can't wait to get things started and rock and rolling. Hi, I'm Jerry Lynn, and I wrestled for 24 years. And to make it easy, when people ask who did you wrestle for, I just say all of them. And currently, I'm one of the coaches at All Elite Wrestling and part owner of FXE Wrestling Academy, along with AJ and Kalen. Hello, my name is Jacob Gill a.k.a. Magic Jake Dumas. I have been a professional wrestler for four years. I have been a classically trained actor for eight years. I have my BFA in both performance and directing, and I am the assistant coach here at FXE. Uh, my name is Thomas Latimer. Uh, I've been wrestling for 20 odd years, born in the UK. Um, I'm a coach here at the FXE Wrestling Academy. Uh, I've worked for uh, for NXT, uh, Impact Wrestling, and I currently wrestle for the NWA. So what we're doing here now with FXE this time is, like I said, with Jerry Lynn being involved and Tom Latimer being involved and Kalen Goddard being involved and also with Jacob Gill as one of our assistant trainers and also Camille Brickhouse um, helping out here and there with us as well. We're gonna take what we know and give it to the new future of this business which is right here on FFXC Wrestling in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and we're looking forward to bringing all that to you. All right, 25 Jumping Jacks, stay together. Let's go. Cool. My name is Kobe Cowan. I'm from right here in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Um, I found FXC after I went to a local wrestler seminar and led me to Tom and Jerry, pun intended, and which led me to AJ, which led me to find this was right here in my backyard. Six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Kobe is our top prospect right now, and um, physically, he looks the part. Uh, his conditioning is off the charts. It's amazing. And I don't think it'll be long where there's no move that he won't be able to do. Colby comes to us, very interesting guy. He uh, has never been a wrestler, never been in a ring, um, never had any prior training. Um, Colby has got such an amazing gift. I don't think that guy kind of knows what he's got yet. Um, he's definitely got the look. You could tell his determination in the ring and getting his body ready all the time is just, you know, he's a personal trainer, you know, and uh, you could tell that he's worked really, really hard to make sure that his body's at physical 100% conditioning at all times. Colby is Mr. FXE. Like, you can't think about the the vibe is weird when Colby's not here. He, uh, he's always one of the first ones to arrive. He's always like an instant morale boost. He's just one of those guys that understands you get out of this what you put into it, and he puts nothing but 110% into it every single time. He always shows up early. He's always ready, ready and willing to work. Um, he's working on character. He's working on charisma. He's working on his moveset. Everything that it takes to be a successful professional wrestler. If you, if you bust your ass, hit the weights, you do everything in your power to be, to be, to, to pick it up and be good, 
you know, you can be like him and you can be leaps, leaps and bounds ahead of other people. Look no further than Colby, you know. Uh, Colby, he's a personal trainer. He's uh, an athlete in his own right. And uh, by God, the guy loves wrestling. And, and is he taking to it like a, a fish to water? So in high school, one of my best friends got very, very sick, Andy Joyce. Um, and one of his last make a wishes was to go to WrestleMania 20 that was in Madison Square Garden. Um, Andy unfortunately didn't make it to WrestleMania 20, so his family asked me if I wanted to go. It's Andy's ticket, I don't want to use it, but they insisted that I went, so I went. And getting to see WrestleMania in Madison Square Garden was everything you would imagine it would be, just sitting there watching the spectacle unfold of what is WrestleMania in Madison Square Garden. I remember watching Triple H and Chris Benoit and Shawn Michaels in a fatal or a triple threat match for the World Heavyweight title. And I remember just sitting around as the confetti fell down like, this is what I want to do. Like, football's great. I'm really good at it. But this is really what I want to do in life. And I remember just sitting there thinking about Andy watching over all this while that last match ended confetti falling down and that's something I'll never forget and um, it's part of the reason why I'm here to chase this dream. Now obviously it takes a while, it took me a while, but to learn you know uh, psychology and having no wasted movement or moves and making sure that everything you do in that ring means something because he's just so supportive and that's probably you know the uh, the gym owner personal trainer and him coming out you know, keeping everybody motivated, keeping everybody pumped. But he's just such a positive influence. And he's one of those guys that's willing to work for it. So he's got great things in his future, and I can't wait to see what happens with him. I've heard more than one person talking about just how they they expected him to have been working for years at this point. And he's only been training with FXE for the past six months or so. And has already gone leaps and bounds above so many others. And has definitely taken charge uh, as the as kind of the head of the of the class in terms of the trainees here. I lived in Hendersonville, Tennessee, locally my entire life. Uh, I played football at Beach High School, right down the road where I met my now wife, who's my high school sweetheart. Um, we've been married 10 years now. We have a 12-year-old son named Kauai. Um, after high school, I moved on to play college football at Cumberland University, which is in Lebanon, Tennessee, so right down the road. Um, I enjoyed my time there. There was always something missing, something about professional wrestling that kept drawing me back in, even when I was done playing football. So here I am now to chase this dream. He reminds me a lot of uh, physically wise and physically gifted uh, RVD a little bit. So, I, you know, he's our top prospect and uh, I see great things for him down the road. One of the things that's cool about Colby is that he takes criticism very well. So if we have to reshape him, remold him a little bit, if there's something that he does, we correct him on it, he's open open for any idea. Um, he comes up with his own ideas, and that and this business is really, really good. You know, in this business, you gotta kinda be a, a three, you know, you gotta be a three-time threat. So, you know, when it's about your talking, your body, your work in the ring, he's got it all. You know, the guy's really, really gonna, gonna have a great future. And we're really looking forward to seeing what he can do here at the Academy. He's got a bright future for sure. Right, one of the other things that's uh, unique about the FXC training, you know, Academy here, is uh, we like to mess with each other. Insufficient funds. <laughs> hey, Tom, this sugar pound looks really good. You don't mind if I have some? Now you can have some chicken, mate.
Today, we learned how to jump over the top rope. Everyone, my name is Steven Tyler Bailey. I'm from Van Leer, Tennessee. I found FXE through a sponsored post on Facebook. The way I feel about FXE, this is the most amazing place you can come and train at. The minds of the coaches here are absolutely phenomenal. If you're looking for future in wrestling, FXE is where you need to be. Steve's an interesting character to, to say the least. Uh, he's another guy. Uh, you know, talking about Colby before, Steve's another guy that, that um, you know, seems to, to get it. He picks up on it quick. Steve is another one of our students that I have very high expectations. He's got such natural charisma and so much character, if he's like me, he's got multiple characters, which I think he does. He's ahead of the game in that, when, like, I'll give you an example. When I broke in the business, I was so shy, I wouldn't even look at the fans. And I wish someone would have shook me and said, you cannot be shy, this is showbiz. And so he's already way ahead of the game in that regards. So Steven, 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 Steven. I don't really know what exactly to say about Steven, except guy's gonna be, the guy's gonna be huge one day. He's got such a charisma about him, and you can tell he's had some prior training before he came to us. Um, learned from some pretty, pretty good, pretty influential people. Came to us to kind of polish a few things, kind of start over a little bit. Uh, now he's taking all that knowledge that we've given him, and he's just amazingly taking off with it. Uh, so Steven Tyler Bailey is a unique cat. Uh, I would call him a weirdo, but we've already got one of those. You'll see on a future episode. Um, but the cool thing about Steven is, like, you look at him, and you can tell he's not quite, he's entirely all there. He's brilliant. He's got a great mind for the business. But he's also not quite all there. Um, we'll let him tell his own story uh, throughout the course of this episode. But uh, there's a, like a level of, of, of unhingedness to, uh, to Steven. When I couldn't get a job at Dunkin' Donuts, it was time for me to enlist in the United States Air Force. My MTI in BASIC said, you will not meet your future wife in BASIC military training. I did. <laughs> And now we've been married for seven years. Can you believe that? Seven years we've been married. And in that seven years, we've lived in several different places, including Missouri, which is where I started wrestling thanks to her. Steven is another one of those guys that is a standout at FXE Academy. Um, I believe that uh, he has been trained before he got here, but he has been nothing but responsive to all of the training that he's gotten. He has no chip on his shoulder, he has no ego. He listens very well to all of the trainers here. Steven is a bit eccentric, might be a nice way to put it, uh, but he is just an absolute delight and his mind for uh, psychology and in-ring work is top notch. He's a guy that I like especially because he's someone that shows me on his face how he's feeling, if he's mad, if he's, if he's sad, if he's angry, if he's, if he's happy. He's always telling me a story with his face, and that's half the battle here. It's all well and good being able to you know, do moves and wrestle, but if your face isn't telling me what's going on at that exact time, then I don't believe what I'm seeing. And so Steve has that. And again, he's another guy with, with a bright future. And I believe that anybody in this industry uh, but specifically, Steven understands that if, if you give everything that you got in the ring all the time, then good things will happen. And he is, once again, he's another one of those guys that I, I see bright things in his future. And as long as he keeps plugging in and 
chugging along. He's going to be in this industry for a long time and very, very successful. But with that being said, wrestling led to other things, and it kind of took a back burner spot when we had our first kid, Vincent. That little boy is, he is a spitting image of me. I am terrified when he becomes older, because if he's anything like me, he's going to do stupid. But we have two kids together, our second son, Wyatt. I love that little ball of joy. He's such a little chunk, like he, he's perfect and adorable. Well, we decided to settle down here in Tennessee, a little place called Van Leer. We got some land out here now, and we're currently prepping on building because we're going to make it our forever home. So like I said, he's well ahead of the game in that regards. Now, there used to be a saying where you weren't considered ready till after working full time 10 years in. And for me, that's where I finally hit my stride. So it depends on each individual person, you know, what they put into it and uh, how fast they catch on. And Steve looks like he may be catching on a little quicker and hopefully he will. But Steven just has something special. He has something that's very unique when you get guys that come in. And all I got to say is, watch out for Steven. That guy is going to be absolutely 100% someone to pay attention to. And uh, I just get goosebumps thinking about the guy. He's funny. He's ridiculous. He's off the chain. Super experimental. Loves, uh, doesn't care about crashing and burning. Um, he would definitely more hurt himself than he would anyone else that he's in the ring with. Okay. So one of the things that's really cool about him is, like I said, he, he doesn't want to hurt anybody at all. Um, but he's also very fearless. That guy will do whatever, however, whenever it's time to go do something, boom, he's the first one that jumps in there just like Colby and just like several others we have. Um, he's definitely one of those guys that, you know, is a go-getter, but there's something about him that's unique. Um, something that I haven't seen in a long time. And like I said, we get guys all the time, but there's just something about him. I haven't put my, my, my mark on it yet, and I know Jerry sees it. I know that Tom sees it. I know that Jacob sees it as well. I know Kalen definitely sees it. There's just something special about that guy. He's someone that is moldable and coachable, and that's all we can ask for. It's time to pay back the loan, baby. There is something off about that guy. We also have a good time. We like to pick on each other. We're definitely a kind of like a big frater fraternity if we could say, and uh, <laughs> all I got to say is that um, no one's safe, no one's ever safe. No, please, I'm a child, no! Um, I think in the future, as these keep going on down the line too, and you guys see what kind of, uh, <laughs> what kind of our days are at and where we have our fun and here and there, how much work we still get in. We always make sure that we, uh, <laughs> we always make sure that we, we find a way to be able to, you know, get somebody one way or another. Um, so that's one thing about the Academy. That's absolutely amazing. Um, and everybody's like a big family here. We all get along. And like I said, we meet so many people from so many different walks of life with so many different unique backgrounds. So, and all we're going to do from now and how we're going to translate it to you guys is we're going to bring them to you every single week as much as we can. And uh, like I said, make you guys fans before they even hit the ring. So we look forward to seeing you guys back. We look forward to seeing you guys again soon. And one of the mottos we have here is live it, learn it, love it. It's always been the motto for FXE Wrestling. And it was back then and it's going to be now. So... Once again, from all of us here to you, thank you guys. Let's go, let's go. Let's get this class going tonight. Yeah! I'm late. And my wife said I can go to class tonight. So no, buddy.